the day the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the feast of the, uh, the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And also today in this country, we remember so many men and women who really have died saving this nation on this Memorial Day. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, 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 Christ have mercy. Father, amen. 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us, we pray, that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, let love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in inflection. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. The word of the Lord. Among you is the great and the holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and the holy one of Israel. God indeed is my savior. I am, I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord and he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the great and the holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds, proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and the holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and the Holy One of Israel. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb and Elizabeth filled with the Holy Spirit 
cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaimed the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. The visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we learn so much from that visit of uh, visiting her cousin Elizabeth. This happened when she heard, Mary heard from the angel that Elizabeth was expecting a child. And at that time, she was uh, in her sixth month. And Mary immediately understood the the agency of that uh, ministry that it, she did because she knew her cousin was uh, older than she was and she knew that was going to be uh, difficult and hard for her cousin. So she went uh, to visit with her and to help her and mostly maybe because she stayed three months, maybe she left when uh, Elizabeth had given birth to a child uh, who is John the Baptist. So Mary really shows us, as our mother, how to respond to the needs of others, that we should not wait when we know, we hear something about somebody um, in the struggles or in a kind of needs. Uh, we don't need to wait for a call. Maybe it's us to call, uh, like we do, I think, most of us, most of the time. Uh, is there anything I can do for you? Or maybe you just go and be there and visit and help. That's what our Mother Mary is teaching us uh, in this uh, feast that we celebrate today, uh, to respond in haste, to respond by the prompts of the Holy Spirit. And not just maybe people are in need, but in the ministries that God calls each one of us to. There are so many ministries that we have in our parish, in our church, that we have to respond to quickly so that we help uh, uh, everything that is need to be helped in our ministries, in our parish, in our communities. That's what we are learning from Mary. But then there's something more than just visiting or respond to the needs. When we respond uh, to the needs of others or to any ministries, we bring Jesus uh, into the ministry. That's what our mother Mary did. She brought the child Jesus who was in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She was filled with joy. And the child in her womb leaped for joy. That's the way our ministry uh, should be always, to bring the joy and to bring that presence of the Holy Spirit uh, to others. That's the way ministry has to be. Because sometimes we do things just for the sake of doing it. But it has to be done because we bring our Lord Jesus Christ in those ministries, in those, to those people we are reaching out to in their needs. And I think that's what St. Paul has talked about in his letter to the Romans. Anticipate one another. Show sincere love for one another. Hate what is evil. 
feel with those people who are feeling things in that time. Those who are in joy, rejoice with them. Those who are mourning, mourn with them. And that is the spirit of our Mother Mary. She's teaching us to do that. And that is the spirit of Christianity. That is the spirit of discipleship. So our Mother Mary, who is really a wonderful example of faith and how to respond to God's call, must play a most important role in each one of us. Priests and lay faithful, let us open our hearts that God, through his Holy Spirit, may lead us like Mary did to the needs of the church, to the needs of others and those people we meet more often in our lives. Let us now stand and offer petitions and prayers to the Lord. That as we come to this last day of May, all Catholics will join Pope Francis in asking the prayers of Mary, so the world is delivered from the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. That with Mary we may sing the praises of God, giving thanks for all God's blessings. We pray to the Lord that the charity of Mary to her aged cousin Elizabeth will help people to be respectful across the generations at all times, we pray to the Lord. That the mercy of God may embrace all people, forgive sin, and lead people to the ways of truth and justice, we pray to the Lord. That on this Memorial Day we pray for all men and women of our armed forces, who have paid the ultimate price in the service of this country and other nations, that they may rest in eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal God, you are constantly in our midst, renewing us in your love. May we always be grateful, as was Mary who sang her praises of you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man's hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of man's hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may our offering of this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed mother of your only begotten son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation 
to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful, thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Until you come, until you come, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Until you come, until you come. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may please and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and the gracious to grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with Thee. Lead me, O oh Lord, lead me. Lead me, guide me along the way. For if You lead me, I cannot stray. Mother Mary, how to be led by the Lord, and she did everything according to the way the Lord leads her, and from her we learn to do that. We have to be led by the Spirit of God to be in the ministries that God is inviting us to. And especially today, on this Memorial Day, those men and women who died, who sacrificed, they responded to that call to save all of us and the, the whole world. So for them, really, we remember them and we make sure that we also have the, their example in our lives. Let us pray. May your church proclaim your greatness, O Lord, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as St. John the Baptist leapt with joy, when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in this sacrament the same ever-living ever Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. The Mass is ended. In Mass in our Make a Joyful Noise hymnals, page 89. Yes, Lord, yes. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I'll agree, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I'll agree. And my answer will be